Hey, what's up? Duke CT here, and uh, I'm just um, thinking about something. Why is it that the WWE and wrestling stuff team are putting these big matches on their television shows, and yet when they have pay per views, they show pretty much nothing to it? I mean, to me, their pay per views are pretty much over one television shows. Are pretty much like three hours of tell uh, three hours of like impact or raw or smackdown or you uh, know uh, it's a three hour impact for TNA and it's a pretty much an extra hour of, of impact for TNA and just you have to pay thirty bucks for it. But that anyway, it's just a mishmash of ECW, SmackDown and Raw for three hours, but you have to pay fifty bucks for it. There's no really, you know, there's no point to it. There's no like real over I mean there's no really this is what I'm looking for. Not really a place for it, but just no real meat to it. That that's all meat. There's no real meat to it. There's nothing to say, hey, you know, I can't wait to buy this. Besides the whole Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels shoot, which I pretty much said that was one of the best shoes of the year, there was nothing else out there. There's no else, there were no other wrestling cues out there the entire year that said that spoke to me. The whole Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels shoot was one of the best ever. Period. And everything else. It was just that's it. And that's pretty much sad that there's only one angle. I can pick like, and sometimes the pay per views they didn't even they didn't have any good matches and good to great matches. I mean, say, they had good matches. Dare I say great? But there's just you know it was just useless filler and everything else. It was mostly filler. Most of the pay I remember the 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 pay per views of the wrestling industry right now. Pro wrestling industry. I see TNA WWE. It's mostly filler. There's like two three good matches and filler. Four or five matches than filler. Everything is pretty much filler. Take a look at the Armageddon pay per view. You had so much, ugh, so much crap they could have taken out and put on Raw, but they wouldn't have actually, you know, the sad part is, they wouldn't even build a quarter of the, I mean, they wouldn't have filled the pay per view if they didn't have these things. The whole JBL and Shawn Michaels thing. That could have been on Raw. Um, the entire, the Belfast Brawl. I felt like I was watching ECW with that. Um, Kozlov and Matt Hardy, non-title. First off, I think they ruined Kozlov. First off, they should have. I mean, why is it all oh, the going for the with Goldberg at least, and even with Samoa Joe and Tina and, and all this other stuff? Could they gave him a mid-range title he can dominate with? Cause they just shot him to main event. Where's I mean, should he challenge for the United States title? Or at least have a man. I mean, first off, you should have gave him a manager. Secondly, you should have put him in the U.S. title, have him dominate for a year. Then have like, okay, this guy's been dominating for a year. Have him great fuse the matches. Then we put him for the World Heavyweight Title picture. Picture. Then, you know that sort of thing. Instead of just put him in matches and just say, oh yeah, just go and destroy people. By the way, that industry streak thing is pretty much over. I mean, you know, it's. I mean, the WWE pretty much ruined it. I mean, it's just there's no substance to it. There's no substance to Kozlov. He's just bland. And he has a care. And I think he can be saved. He's still young enough. I think he should be right there. He's right there, but he needs a manager, a good short title reign, a good long title reign for the U.S. title. Then I think he's a main event. But that's my opinion. And let's see what else. Only good matches with a I see title you know, Punk and Mysterio, which I'll say this right now. Punk, why is he going after for the world title? I mean in a world heavyweight title. Why is he not going after that title? Say going the other kind of I understand you know, but you know, how about this WWE? How is this for a great idea? How about he went for the Intercontinental title first. If he was an Intercontinental title world champion and build himself up, he'd be an instant man. Fans would just run, just ran and ran and draws for him. CM Punk gets, it's got been to some shows of his. And when, they, when the hell, when he was champion, he got, um, he got stuff like that. But most of the guys who were champion, he got owned and beat down. I mean, seriously, he was pretty much just pretty much pathetic how he got beat down. Just. Ugh. Anyway, again, it was a great match. Um, what else? The diva thing, filler, and the you know.
Kyle, the great Kali, it's Philly as well, so yeah. The the title match, Jericho and Cena, very good stuff. You know, but it, Jericho's pretty much been leading for punk already because one, he already I mean he lost the title to Batista, which to me I don't know why they did that anyway. They should have let him least if he was gonna lose the title, at least would have made it a little bit better if he lost it a Survivor series. Or uh, at least to Armageddon, or at least to a Royal Rumble, which I think would have been, would have been nice to have him. Because he's been more interesting and perfect the entire time. Cena, and by the way, I should get this before, you know, Cena, very good matching, very good match with Champ, very good match. And by the way, before I piss me weird things, we should watch one of that Raw this week. I didn't see the beginning because I was watching some better television. Um, why is Cena and Batista being partners and being buddy buddy all of a sudden? I mean, I just watched the other stuff of, of a quick cut today. Dude. He's like, seriously. And Cena runs out of help. Why are you running out and helping this guy? He put you in IR for a couple months. Seriously. And seeing as I run out of defending, I'm like, serious, this guy put you out of misery. And that's like complete no continuality and everything else. And just, you know, putting over Randy Orton and Legacy. And by the way, since we're Legacy, where's Ted DiBiase? Is he gone? Is he destroyed? Is he dead? What, what happened to him? Is he, I mean, he just disappeared after he got that Randy Orton kick. And his boy, Cody Rhodes, was gone. I mean, seriously, he just stared at him. Cody Rhodes, and I, I mean, seriously, if it, I thought he, he was his boy. I thought Ted DiBiase Jr. was his boy, and then Cody Rhodes just say, say, ah, well, you know what? Hey, you slapped my dad and beat my dad up, slapped me a couple of times, then you kick uh, my best friend down. I mean, hey, let me join your side. <sighs> Confidence. God. Hill, Hills signing with Hills with no other reason because the Hills don't make any sense. I'm sorry, this turned into a WWE Bass video. I mean, there's some positive things. Jeff Hardy winning the World Heavyweight, the WWE title. You know, it should have been at WrestleMania, but, you know, hey, he won the title? Good for him. I'm positive for him, and I'm happy for him. And, um, you know, I hope he, I pray to God he doesn't uh, fuck this up. I hope he doesn't. And the WWE put faith in him, and I think he, I mean, to me, hopefully, he keeps that kid's a good long run. Him and, and I hope this comes out to a brother, brother for you, like the same vein of Owen and uh, Brett. <laughs> you know, hopefully. Anyway, um, that's all I got to say today, you know. Oh, one more thing. TNA. This ain't go, let him off yet, it's over. It sucks. You're not getting anyone over. It's horrible. You're making people look less than they are. And I think you just destroy that angle next year. Start fresh. Get a new name because TNA seems pathetic. Uh, put the um, put some, a new name, a new, I mean, tour out. I mean, tour new name, a new you know. Bring back Christian Cage, who pretty much is is not going to sign. Maybe Tonko can come back as well. And, you know, bring back Tonka, bring back Christian Cage, two guys who actually bust their ass for you. And, um, you know, hopefully, and things will fall out in place. And the one thing, fire Jan and fire Russo. So, that's why I know TNA ran. Yeah, I'm just, listen. Listen, I'm tired, all right? Uh, just say, um, you know, they just get up, but, you know, I'm tired and hungry. I'm about to go to Wendy's, and even though it's Wendy, raining and stuff, so. <laughs> Anyway, man, uh, this is Duke CT. Um, I'm going to probably do another video, probably before the end of the year, do my whole year review. And hopefully, I'll do more videos this year. And no, not, some more videos next year. You um, know, thank y'all to YouTube today. I first started doing my, you know, doing my whole TNA, you know, thing like that. Then I got, the, you know, the whole disaster movie thing. And, you know, people actually liked it. So, I'm going to keep making videos. And, you know... Props everyone, everyone, my friends, all my subscribers, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Kwanzaa, uh, Merry, uh, Happy Hanukkah, all the little things, man, and um, God bless.